the hospital was legendary. Chet Hospital gave birth to most of the citizens in New Orleans and gave life to many dying people here. If there's something to be called your mother, it was Charity Hospital. That's our mom. There were plans to build a new hospital pre-Katrina, but there was no money. It was the perfect storm. full of critically ill patients when the second generator went out. We were plunged into darkness. Two of them have already died here on this ramp waiting to get out. Two, two died. In this very spot. Two died here because you couldn't get them out. Two died here because we could not get them out. I'd never seen anything quite like that. I might die with a uniform, but nobody abandoned the patients. The military went into Charity Hospital and they began cleaning it up. We had my contingent of National Guardsmen. We had the decontamination team. We had the Navy there. Then the 82nd Airborne came. Two whole companies. It was cleaned, occupiable, according to the U.S. Navy OSHA standards and their testing. It was ready to go. I mean, we had hundreds of troops in there. We know how to do this. Spotless. Beds were made, gowns were on it, waiting for patients. And we showed up in uniform, ready to go to work. And when I reported it to the state, if you want to open it, we can do it right now. And then I was told that there's no plan to reopen it. Word just came down for us to leave the building immediately to get off of the property. The guy goes, I'll make sure you never work in this state again. As a result of the closure of that hospital, I can't tell you how many lives we've lost. People who are living in this community, they don't have access. They are using this disaster as an opportunity to fulfill an agenda. This is about health care. This is about people's lives. Something's being hid inside this hospital. 